Hi, I will show you what's new in the Blob Fusion. So we have now option to convert meshes to the blobs. Use Shift A and select the mesh primitive. Now uh, it will be a bit slower compared to other primitives, uh, but if you want more complicated meshes, it will work okay. Now the one issue that maybe you can see is that when I move the blob uh, slightly down, the automatic domain size is not completely wrapping around this mesh. For performance reasons, I wanted kind of simple, simple calculations for calculating the domain resizement. So if you want, you can select the domain and manually adjust its size. And then remember to lock the domain so it won't be resized from the bottom. Uh, okay, but in this case, I don't care. So uh, the another feature is ability now to color blobs. I can uh, enable the colorize blob button. Then when I have one blob selected, I can colorize this or I can select multiple blobs and colorize them one by one. Uh, there is a special case for the capsule primitive. So if I duplicate this and extrude, you see that I can colorize tip and root in different colors from the capsule. Uh, there is also the gradient tool, so it will be easier to show on this preset, horse preset from the library. So I will enable activate this blob, enable colorization, uh, select everything, make this maybe brownish, and I can show you now the paint gradient. So then select this button, then left click and drag to paint the gradient like so. You can change color if you want, then F click and drag. Uh, in the operator properties for the gradient, you can adjust the painted color. And you will see that if I change this to blue, you have this kind of hue transition. If you do not like this, just disable this hue blend. And uh, lastly, there is the circular gradient option. So it is starting the color from this spot because I painted the gradient from around this spot to this spot. So the first click position is the center of the radial gradient. Okay, so now let's jump to other, another primitive. This is a preset from the library and it was painted with the orange blobs. So even though I painted all the blobs with orange, we can still see some white background color. You can uh, change this and fix by changing this background color in here. I'm not sure if this is because my math is not perfect or something, but currently canvas color is white and you can see a bit of this white between the blobs. So I can make this yellow if you want. And this issue sometimes is not visible if the blending between blobs is not too high of the value. But, but I am in here using actually quite blend high blend value so in the between in the between the blobs you can see this background color so to hide this color uh, background i could make this orange so it will blend better with the orange blobs or i could make this dark so it would kind of simulate almost like ambient occlusion and uh, one more cool, cool feature is that i can select all the uh, orange blobs with uh, like one click so rather than manually selecting everything I will select one orange orange blob, shift G, select by type and by similar color. You have option to adjust the threshold for color selection. And then I could uh, like uh, recolorize this to something different. Okay, and uh, on top of that, I also uh, change the uh, presets in the library, so they are now colorized. So my favorite one is this spider. Uh, and uh, you can adjust the color just like I showed you. So select the blob, change the color, and it will work OK. And a more interesting case would be this, uh, the mecha character. This is the hard surface preset. And uh, in here, I wanted to show you maybe like one issue. We have quite a high value of the blending between the blobs, so we have those big gradients. There is a way to get rid of those gradients, but it requires you to go inside the geometry nodes. Uh, maybe to make this easier to see, I will select the orange blobs, make them slightly brighter. 
Okay, let's adjust the blending distance. So for that, you go to the blob domain object, select the domain modifier, and we will edit this in geometry nodes. Uh, so just select any of the blob nodes, tap into to enter inside this blob node, and then close to the output, you will see this mix node. Tap to edit that node. And around this spot, you will see the multiply minus 10 node. So watch what will happen to those gradients in here. In here, if I change this multiply from minus 10 to minus 30, you will see this is now way sharper. So for hard surface, it might be actually beneficial to, to make uh, those uh, transitions sharper like in here. And the last thing I wanted to show about this preset, it is a bit heavy because it is made from many blobs, so the performance is not the best. So one way to get uh, better performance would be to maybe like disable localization, it should be around 20% faster. But uh, let's say you want to see the colors, you could reduce the domain resolution, but now everything will be more uh, blurry. So another way would be to split the domain into smaller chunks. Currently this is domain size around that. We could split the bottom part into one smaller domain and the top would be in the top half. So this would increase the performance without having to disable colorization or without having to reduce the resolution. So just to quickly show you, I can select the bottom part. Okay and I will press P and separate selected. I could name this bottom, the top, name this top, and uh, you see if I select the bottom part and model this, it is way faster without adjusting, changing the resolution. And the reason is that the domain size is around uh, uh, half of the original size could go and maybe add a bit more detail like that, punch more blobs without the lag. And we can repeat the same steps for the top. You see the domain size is still quite big. It is because the domain faces are locked, as you can see, by those black dots. So I could like manually resize it, resize this manually or disable the locking. So now the Green dot means that when I move the blobs, the domain size automatically will snap around the shapes of the domain. So I could uh, model this a bit in here and add a bit of detail maybe in here and the performance will be way better than previously. And uh, then to finalize the blobs, you would bake them, I want to bake them using the option in here to finalize blob. <coughs> Before that, to get the best quality, I would suggest to maybe like bump up resolution even more and then finalize this. And this will create mesh with applied modifiers. I could repeat the same for the bottom. So bump up resolution, bake this into final, final blob. And uh, you could add more detail now, like manually maybe sculpt or paint this. Uh, notice that in the attributes, there is the color blob attribute. So this is adding the colors. If I remove it, you won't see the colors. And the shader setup is very simple. So the blob material is just principal shader with this blob color uh, fed into the base color. So I hope you like this uh, update and uh, see ya.